Hi there, we wanted to come back uh, to a, a project we did a little while ago and just give you a bit of a follow up and, and show you the results. Um, in one of our earlier videos you might have seen uh, this was a, an old dam that hadn't been used for a long period of time and had never really held any water. Um, it was basically filled from a, a bore or a, a well um, and the water used to run down here and, and fill up and this was always a muddy puddle but because the soil is so sandy there's quite a bit of rock in it it's never really held water so you would have seen in our earlier video we actually gave it a bit of a scrape out got rid of uh, some of the silt and, and the um, organic matter that was in the dam here and what we did is we applied the dam at dam sealer over the edges and we actually raked that in. So that project was probably done about uh, four or five months ago now. Um, we have been in a, a drought here in Australia so there hasn't been any rain until recently and what's happened is we've had massive amounts of rain in a short period of time. So we just wanted to show you the results. Um, a lot of people have said look we can see the before pictures, we can see the application but can you give us you know, some proof that your product actually works? Um, we let our customers create their own reviews on the website. Um, you know, some people have said it, it has worked for them, some people have said uh, it, it hasn't worked for them. But uh, we just wanted to show you this particular project and, and point out some potential issues. So while this is holding water, and it's certainly holding more water than this dam has ever held, after one treatment of uh, the Shalex dam, it, there are going to be a few issues here. I mean, the, the first that I can see is that we've still got some tree roots and remnants around the edges of the dam. It's never a good idea to have trees on your dam wall. Basically what happens as, as the roots grow through, they create pathways. So even if you kill or chop those trees down, as the root system rots, it basically leaves pathways and, and often you'll find the water will travel through hollow uh, tree roots. You might get termites uh, eating that out, it creates a pathway and the water leaks through. So ideally um, no vegetation, no large trees anyway um, on the banks, but in this situation looking at whether we can actually get the water level higher, it's probably unrealistic. Um, this water level came up quite quickly and it's, it's settled, but given that this dam has never had water in it, um, we can look at two options. We can leave it as it is and say that's an acceptable level to, to hold water at, or we can uh, do another application of, uh, of dam it to see if we can bring the water level up a little bit. But uh, as, as I said earlier, we just wanted to show you this is what uh, the result is of applying Shalex dam it to a dam. Uh, we'd rake that directly into the soil and this dam had never held water, uh, but now with natural rain, uh, rainwater runoff, um, it's actually holding water. You've got uh, aquatic life in there. There's frogs and tadpoles and all the rest of it. Um, the owners are very happy with, uh, with the results. So uh, give it a try.